Welcome to the third part of my medicinal herbs series. In the first two parts, I've talked about annual and perennial herbs you can grow in your garden. And today I would like to talk about perennial herbs that grow like weeds. And I would like to start with a broadleaf plantain, which is an amazing herb for bug bites, stings and other skin irritations. I use fresh plantain leaf directly on the insect bites. The age of mosquito bites and burn of wasp stings fades in minutes with an application of plantain herb. If you have it growing in your garden, let it grow. Same as wild violets, when spring is in full swing, I make sure to pick plenty of these gorgeous flowers that have colonized my yard. These lovely edible flowers aren't just beautiful, they are also medicinal and edible, full of nutrients to nourish our bodies. They are high in vitamin C content, which made them popular for treating and preventing colds. They also stimulate the lymphatic and immune systems and they are used as a natural cough remedy. Both leaves and flowers are edible. You can use them in salads and smoothies. I've also decorated cakes with some beautiful violet flowers in the spring. You can also dry them up and use them in tea later in the season when they are not available. You can even make jam or jelly from violet flowers. It has a great purple color and unique taste. Another medicinal herb that is considered a weed is dandelion. Dandelions are so versatile and useful medicinal flowers. They can be used to treat a variety of ailments from digestion problems to chapped skin. Dandelions are the answer. And best of all, they reappear in our yards for months for free. You don't have to do anything to grow them. Dandelions are also amazing because all parts of the plant can be used. For example, you can use petals to make jelly. I've made it, it was delicious. And you can also dry it up and use it in tea blends. Dandelion leaves are um, very useful in salads. They have a mild chicory flavor. They are actually from the same family. And dandelion roots are the most medicinal. Different cultures use dandelion roots to support liver. And it's very easy to use dandelion roots. All you have to do is to dig them up, wash them, clean them, roast them, and then you can make um, dandelion root tea, or sometimes it's called coffee, even though it's far um, from coffee in taste. Uh, so I would just call it a dandelion tea. Another great medicinal weed is melon, which has antiviral, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, anti-influenza properties, and many others. And it's just an amazing herb to have in your medicinal apothecary. Most people are afraid and they hate this medicinal herb called milk thistle. People don't like it because of its thorny, leaves and stems and when they appear in the garden everybody is trying to get rid of them but similar to dandelion milk thistle is a famous liver herb it helps supporting liver health it helps reducing cholesterol supports weight loss also reduces insulin resistance which is great to use for people with type 2 diabetes also, it helps with uh, allergic symptoms and improves asthma. But be careful when working with milk thistle because it's very thorny. Another great herb is comfrey. Comfrey is popular between gardeners as a chop and drop mulch, but comfrey has several medicinal actions as well. It is known as an astringent herb, which makes it useful as the healing uh, for wounds, both internal and external. Comfrey helps to increase cell production, which causes wounds to heal um, faster. And in the same time, lessens scarring. 
Next herb is St. John's wort, which is one of the most commonly purchased herbal products in the United States. And in recent years, it was studied extensively as a treatment for depression. Other uses for St. John's wort are PMS, menopause, OCD. I personally used St. John's wort uh, for my eczema in the past because St. John's wort has antibacterial properties and also it helps fight inflammation. And for skin issues, I usually would recommend to use it in combination with other herbs like calendula, plantain and comfrey. Both leaves and flowers are used in medicine, but it is usually harvested uh, when the plant is in full bloom in the midsummer. Usually it blooms in the end of June, beginning of July. And that's where it gets its name because on June 24th is the birthday of Saint John. Next on our list is red clover. Everybody is familiar with this herb. It's another common weed that grows in people's lawns and they are trying to get rid of it. But it is very famous and also very common medicinal herb. Uh, it's famous for supporting immune system. Also it has cleansing properties and people use it to support liver. Also it's been used by women in their hormonal formulas. Another great herb is stinging nettle. Similarly to milk thistle, it is a very scary herb because it stings and you have to be careful when you harvest some, but it is very medicinal. Nettles are commonly used as anti-allergen, also help treating chronic inflammatory diseases and it helps with things like diabetes, rheumatoid, arthritis, and others. It is also high in vitamins and minerals and can be used in early spring in salads and soups while there is no other vegetables available. Another weed and medicinal herb is purslane. It is very common, grows everywhere, and it has more omega-3 than spinach five times more so it is a very great herb to use for cardiovascular diseases and just to maintain a healthy immune system there are many more medicinal weeds growing around things like lamb's quarters shepherd's purse creeping charlie and others but i can talk about all of them maybe in the future i'll make another video featuring them Thank you so much for watching.